Welcome to Mobile Must Have. My name's Andy, and today I'm going to show you how to access your Pepwaves admin console. All right, thank you for joining me for this video. We're going to keep it short. The main purpose here is to show you how to log in to your Pepwaves console if you need to make any setting changes. The main reason you would need this is if you need to change your inbound internet source, say from cellular to Wi-Fi as WAN, or like say you get to a new campground and you want to sign up for their Wi-Fi, some example like that. The process is pretty simple. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. All right, the process for this is pretty simple. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you're connected to your Pepwaves Wi-Fi network. Uh, I am on my Mac today. I can go up to my Wi-Fi and I can see off to Neverland, which is what I have called our Wi-Fi network. I can see that I'm connected and that's step one. Um, and you must do that before you can go to step two. So once you're connected, uh, you're gonna open up a browser. I have opened Google Chrome here, but Safari, Internet Explorer, all of those options will work. Um, and I'm going to type in a particular IP address. I'm going to type in 192. You can see I've been there before, 168.50.1, and I'm going to hit enter. This will take me to the login screen of my Pepwave. Um, and basically, since I'm connected to the Pepwave's Wi Fi, that's what gives me access to enter this screen. Okay, so on this screen, uh, by default, the username and password are both admin. So we're going to type in A-D-M-I-N, and I'm going to hit tab to go to the next one, A-D-M-I-N, and then you can hit log in. And there you go. This will take you to your Pepwave dashboard. Now I'll explain a few things on here, but that's basically what we need to do for this video is to get you logged in. Uh, now the dashboard is going to show you your main connection status. Um, to kind of break it down, you've got all your different connection status points. In this particular example, I'm using a Pepwave Transit Duo, um, but you can see I've got my cellular one connection. That is what's taken to my priority one. You can see I'm connected through an AT&T LTE network. If I wanted to bring on, a, let's say, my Wi-Fi over WAN, I could drag up my Wi-Fi, and you'll see it start to search for nearby networks. Now, I'm actually pretty remote right now, so I only have cell service available, but like we can look and see what networks would be. So if you had a campground network, this would be where you could join it. Um, I don't think it's going to come up with anything. So oh, we came up with someone else's line card solution. Um, but that's it. Um, again, if you wanted to turn one off, you can just drag it down to disabled and you can disable that internet connection. So there you go. That is today's video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and we'll get back to you. Thank you.